I'm Michelle Novosel, and I am where originally from Pennsylvania, but have been here for 30 years. 30 years. So basically, we're from here. <laughs> and my name is Caitlin Lyon, and yes, we are related. <laughs> we're sisters. Um, it's Pitzel's Confections, and um, we make artisan chocolate truffles and confections. And um, I'll let you say oh, how we great, got started. Great. Um, <laughs> uh, you had always talked about wanting a candy shop ever yes. since you were ever little. since I was little um, and she literally watched Willy Wonka every day every single day for at least two years and I'm not exaggerating we just daydream about chocolate factories and um, and candy making and and, uh... and so we saw a chocolate shop in uh, Washington DC when we were visiting our grandparents uh, years ago this must be ten years ago now <laughs> And we just, those row houses that are all in downtown, it was in one of the basements and there was like a sign that said chocolate. We went, oh, let's go check it out. And in about 20 minutes, I spent $120 on chocolate. <laughs> and it was a very tiny shop and it had super high end stuff. We didn't know it at the time, but it was Christopher Elbow's stuff in there. He's pretty famous in the artisan chocolate world. And uh, so we bought a bunch of chocolate and we tasted it all and we kept thinking about how small that place was and we were like, that we could totally do that. It was it didn't seem overwhelming to think about doing like a little chocolate shop. So we had talked before about wouldn't it be fun to own a restaurant where there's no menu, you just come in and whatever you serve is what you eat. You and know, we just, always wanted to do something with desserts or you know, sweets and then it, we kind of narrowed it down to chocolate after talking and then really after seeing that that space in, uh, in DC. Um, but I had worked in food service um, on and off you know since I was a kid so you know it takes a, a, a special type of person to work around food and to work around um, retail retail food public is... and um, and that's something that I've always enjoyed. And I did work in a restaurant right out of college and I managed a coffee shop for a while and yes, you have to be totally insane to work in the food service <laughs> industry. <laughs> and you have to be totally insane to work with your sister. Yes. <laughs> we make it work. I, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> um, the process of making chocolate is is a lot of you know it's a lot of time, time and patience. Um, it's a lot of chemistry involved, so it's not just melting chocolate and putting it into a mold or dipping chocolates out of it. There's, um, you have to do a tempering process with the cocoa butter and with the chocolate, everything that you use. Um, and it's very hard to do in Alabama with the heat, heat and humidity that is always surrounding us. Um, so it is, uh, the process is, it just takes a lot of time and patience. And we're always figuring it out every day. It takes one batch of one kind of truffle takes about three days to make. So sometimes people want to know why on Tuesday we don't have such and such because we ran out on Saturday. And even though we've worked since Saturday, the process takes as long as it takes. There's not a whole lot of, there are not a whole lot of shortcuts right. into making the chocolate. So sometimes we're out of things and that's okay. Oh, the designs that we use, sometimes we come up with the designs first, sometimes the designs are based on a flavor that we come mm. up with first. Um, so it really um, depends a lot of that. Um, we'll, you know, sometimes we'll be splatter painting something and I'll say, oh, those two colors look really cool together. Why don't we try something with that? Sometimes you have happy accidents. Right. Where you dropped something on something else, you know, your chocolate is in my peanut butter kind of accident people <laughs> old enough to remember that just commercial and uh, then and then you'll be like oh those two colors work together or those two flavors work together mm -hmm. um, so uh, our, our inspiration comes from everywhere uh, thankfully here at low mill we, there's inspiration everywhere and the colors really come I feel like they come from the flavor not always but like the sexy back which is a salted caramel is silver I have no idea what those two things have to do with each other <laughs> but for some reason, the one with Earl Grey tea in it is t blue because there was something about Earl Grey that said blue to us, or right. things that have spice in them or red, have some red on them. And 
um, maybe some of those associations only make sense in our heads. Right. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about amusing ourselves. Right. <laughs> we are about. Uh, I say about as in months away from expanding our shop. So we will be having uh, more dining, um, a second semi-attached, semi-joined together kitchen. Um, one kitchen's gonna remain all chocolate work and then other hot cooking, sugar cooking and baking is gonna go to the other side of the kitchen and we'll have a lot more dining area so we'll be adding some desserts. It's all gonna stay based around high-end desserts and uh, artisan chocolate. So it'll be more like new things, not changing everything. We did get to meet the actor who played Charlie in the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie. Um, so that was super incredible, even though he, of course, didn't actually make any chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> right off the plane, they brought him they here. Brought him and here and I thought she was going to pass out. I all, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close. It was, it was pretty exciting. You know, he's never done another movie. He's not like famous, famous actor or whatever. He's the nicest man ever. He and was very interested in, in our shop, and, and that was that was wonderful to be able to show him around our shop. Yeah, and then got to, we actually just got to hang out with him for a little while, so. Everyone's happy when they come in here. At least they leave happy. Um, so we have the best customers. Um, <laughs> they're always, because we're always singing and dancing also, they they take cue of that and start, start dancing and singing. And this is a place for them to, to let loose a little bit.